Hello, hello, good morning. Got Kaylee here today. Hi guys. So we're here stood by the electric mast on the Rigby Road retail park. We're gonna go and have a little walk about. Come with us. <laughs> <laughs> Kaylee having a sneezing fit there. <laughs> so if there's anybody that watches that knows how to operate Sony cameras, please get in touch. Please drop me an email. Because the one bit that I'm struggling to fix is stabilization so when you're walking it is juttering around a little bit quite annoying but you know Rome wasn't built in a day I do need to remember that and also I need to get into the habit of talking a bit quieter because I noticed that on my previous camera the mic wasn't as good as this one so I had to talk quite loud but you'll notice now I've just dropped my voice because the mic on this is excellent. I don't want to be shouting down everybody's ear rolls all the <laughs> way through the video. So yes, I must remember to talk quiet. So you've got your Mackies over there. There you go, look. I'm loving it. <laughs> There's your Mackies. Oh, I'm loving the fact I've got this Zoom. It's brilliant. Great stuff. Just here, next to the old Odeon. This is the gym. Oh, it's the gym. Okay, I'm useless. Thank God Kaylee's here. Old Odeon's <laughs> This is Bannantyne Health Club and Spa. It's a good job Kay's here, isn't it, folks? Hey, let's have a look at that look. Bannantyne Health Club and Spa. They've got a swimming pool in there. I know. We need to pop in one day. I wonder if you can just use the swimming pool as a non-guest. I think you can. I did hear that you can apparently buy a day's pass. We'll have to find out the details and pop it in the description. Oh, so good. oh look at the swimming pool. Let's hope no one's in there. No, someone's in there. We're not going to look through because there's actually someone in the pool. See, that, that's the only thing that would bother me if I was in the pool. I think they should black out those windows. Yeah. That everyone walking past can just stare in at you. Kind of weird. Yeah. They should at least black out the bottom half or something. So let's walk over here because they've got the new Starbucks slot, which I don't think is open yet. No. So is it a drive through and eating? Yeah. All oh, right, okay. We'll have to go in when they open. Give it a little bit of a, a review. It's a gorgeous day, isn't it? What are you doing? You're not allowed in there. How do you know? I think that's for cars. If we just... Oops. If we just walk this way. Sorry guys, bear with me getting used to this uh, new camera. Here it is, look. And there we go, the new Starbucks. Oh, I hate this bag. Starbiz. Did you say Dobby? No, Starbiz. Oh, I thought you said Dobby. And um, this man, a dad, he went to Starbucks and he said that his name was Dobby. Because <laughs> when they give you your order, they call you by your name. <laughs> he got his order and he went, Starbucks has given Dobby a latte. Dobby is happy. <laughs> Can we get down the side of here? Um, we're not, I don't think we're allowed. It might lead to the rest of the park. No, I don't think it does. We have to go there. So here's the Odeon just over the road. I'm still upset about the Odeon. Yeah. I will never forgive them. I loved the Odeon. We I, used to go a lot, didn't we? Yeah, I saw the first Frozen movie there and then a couple of years later I went and saw the second one there. What is that? 
It's sad as well to see that it was closed down and now it's just an empty building. Come on Odeon, come back. Oh, They should make that into a big adventure family centre mm. with lots of things under one roof. You could have You could have a swimming pool, bowling, indoor inflatable, park, trampoline area, food court. What do you reckon, guys? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and we've got Club 3000 just in front of us there. Ooh. I went there last week. It was good. Didn't win, though. No. Still waiting on my refund. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty soon you can take me. Yes. I use the tablets me though, so it dabs it for you. All you've got to do is call if you win. Um, I did it with the paper tickets a few weeks back and I did not like that. That was stressful. Red 13, blue 47, blue 51, red number 2, white 73. See, I could be a bingo caller. <laughs> no, but if you are a bingo caller, you're probably not allowed to play. No. So I, don't, I wouldn't do it, because I like bingo. But they do need to get some vegan food options there. Mecca have some good vegan food options. I cannot see. I know, you need to get some sunglasses, mate. There's no way I could be outside now without sunglasses. Oh, look at that. Somebody's just left a bag of Stella cans on the floor. There's a bin right there. What is up with some people? To be fair, we should have put it in the bin, really. Taco Bell on the corner there. I've not heard any good um, reviews about Taco Bell. No, I haven't. I don't know why, but I just saw loads and loads of negative reviews. We couldn't eat in there because they don't do anything vegan either. Which is surprising with the amount of vegans you have now. Vegan taco is easy. Yeah, of course, and majority of places now cater for vegans, so I don't understand why they don't. They don't just do tacos, they do burritos, which are vegan burritos easy, they do bottles, there's lots of things you could do. Yeah, you just get some uh, vegan mince and then throw in some peppers and onions and stuff. Which they already have. It's a beautiful day. Hey, 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 hey. There you have it. There's Taco Bill. Bill? Did you say Bill? Yeah, Taco Bill. There he is. <laughs> there she goes again with a zoom. <laughs> right, let's go up here. Let's just explore around this area today. Maximum parking term supply. Beefy melt burrito. <laughs> So you can park here Monday to Saturday, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. for one hour. No return within two hours. I mean, you've got the, the parking in the retail park anyway. Yeah. But I wonder if you've got to spend something in one of the stores in order to use the car park. Maybe. Bill. Taco Bill. <laughs> I can't believe I came out with that. Well, actually, I can. It's me. It's Katie Myers, yeah, so. It's you. It's <laughs> Green light. Electrical Services Group. 
installation. I always try and advertise companies and businesses where I can. Yeah. It's good to help help each other out. You've actually got a, a working man's type club just ahead of us. I've never seen that open. No. I, I'd been in Blackpool for years and years and never knew it was there until one day I just randomly spotted it. Yeah. But you never see anybody going in or out, do you? No. So you've got Central Drive just at the top of there, look. Central Drive does have a quite a notorious reputation, doesn't it? Yeah, I've never had any problems when I've gone on the street. But we don't walk on there late at night or anything. It might be a nighttime thing. Maybe. Oh, you've got a police van there, look. That's not a surprise. Why is it, though, with police officers, when you don't need them? Need, need them? Need mm -hmm. them? When you don't need them? Me? Oh dear, Katie. <laughs> when you don't need them, you uh, see hundreds. When you need them, you don't see one. Yeah, remember that time we needed one and we literally walked around the whole of town centre and we couldn't find one. Was that the day, oh no, I was say there was a day where this guy was following me all around the town centre and I was really panicking. It wasn't that time, you were with me. All right. What was it for? Can you remind me? I've we forgotten. found that cash box on the steps of a bridge, I think it was. Oh yes, I remember. Yeah, cash box that obviously might have been stolen, but I think it was still locked, wasn't it? Yeah. So it might have been stolen, they couldn't open it and then they dumped it. And then we didn't find anyone. What did we end up doing with it? Uh, we we found some police in town. Oh no, we picked it up and we put it outside the court. Ah, oh, that was it, the courts, yeah. Because we knew that a member of staff going in and out with the yeah. vans because they were still using it at that point would see it look at that that's disgusting oh my days there she goes with the bloody zoom again <laughs> wow that's bad isn't it And I'm, I'm not a negative Nelly, and I don't try to put Blackpool down. I love Blackpool. Everyone that follows the channel knows that. And I've said it before that all areas will have bad things about them. Every town across England, nowhere's perfect. So this is Central Club here. It must be closed down. There's windows smashed up at the top there, look. That lot. Real shame. So this is Princess Court round here. Shall we go up to Central Driveway or down to the Promenade Way? We've done the Promenade a few times recently though, haven't we? I don't know. What do you reckon? Don't know. You don't know? If you don't know and I don't know. And who knows? Somebody knows. Somebody knows? Where should we go? Where do you want know. to go? I don't know. You don't know? I don't know. Do you want to go down to the beach? We can do. Okay, let's go down that way. So you're not far here from the beach, so if you move into Blackpool, this is Princess Street, and that's Princess Court over there. And it's literally about a two minute walk from here, down to the beach. This bridge here, in front of us, the other night, there was kids hanging off it. Mm -hmm. And they were shouting out to an adult, look at me, look at me. Like, where's the parents? Why would people be letting the kids roam the streets? And this was apparently about 11 o'clock at night. My friend told me. 11 o'clock at night and hanging off a bridge. 
I, I do think, you know, some parents, I say some, because there's lots of responsible parents out there, some are not raising the kids, other than feeding them or whatever, they're just letting them roam the streets and thrown in front of a TV or a gadget. Where's the actual parenting? Daniel would know not to go near the edge of a bridge, let alone hang off it. And he's 10. And he would have known that years ago. You all would have done. These bungalows of rare and ice on the corner. Yeah, they are. Lovely that for an elderly person. And a good location as well, with the uh, seafront being just at the end of the street. Oh look, there's the iconic tower. I don't want to look at that. Yeah, yesterday, um, Kaylee got stuck up the tower yesterday for an hour because mm -hmm. the lift broke down. It wasn't fun. Oh, that zoomed in. It wasn't fun. <laughs> it wasn't fun. No, she texts me saying if I have to hear that uh, Kylie song one more time, I'm going to scream. But I was quite worried because I was at work when Kay texted me yesterday. And I said to my boss, what if she's up there for two days? Oh. There's no toilet. Two days? Bit dramatic. Well, no, not really. It took them a month to open up past the opening date because of problems with the lift. I mean, it might have been that they were waiting for a part to arrive, mm -hmm. but still, what if you needed to go to the toilet? They'd have to give you all cups from behind the bar. Yeah. You'd be sleeping on the glass floor. That's fine. Hey, do you know what? People have to pay a lot of money to do that, I bet. We should get a group together one night and do that. Yeah. And Maya's family sleep over up the tower. Oh, that would be cool. That would be so cool. Sleeping on the glass floor. Imagine when you wake up in the middle of the night and you forget where you are. <laughs> and you'll just think that you're falling through the sky or something. I laid flat on the glass floor yesterday, face down. Ah. I'm just pack. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah. I was so glad we finally got the answer of why postmen are always in shorts no matter the weather. And I did have actually a couple of postmen that commented on my Facebook and YouTube video saying that when it's raining, mm -hmm. the trousers will stick to your legs. Oh. So that's why they prefer, prefer, prefer? Prefer, prefer. prefer? <laughs> that's why they prefer to wear shorts. Oh dear, dear. Um, I can't speak today, can I? No. There's no hope for me. Big electric station there. I just want to go for an afternoon nap. You're like Perry. <laughs> I could just get into bed now and go sleep for two hours. Goodness. I know. But I've got to go to work. <laughs> okay, yeah, dramatic. Yeah. I am dramatic. Really? We didn't know that. Cheeky. Marketplace. Bid start at £2.50. Beg your pardon, I'm worth a lot more than that. <laughs> <laughs> did, did you bring your bank card? No, but I've got Apple Pay. Okay. Might get a cold drink down here. So cool paying for stuff with your phone. I know, yeah. I've still not mastered paying um, with your card on your phone yet. <laughs> I'm 10 years behind everyone else. Yeah, all the time you'll be at the machine and I'm like, Mum, you need to wait, wait for it to come up. And I'm like, you have to tap it in there. I'm not good with technology. I'm always behind everything in life. I remember when I started watching Orange is the New Black mm -hmm. and I put up a post about it on uh, Facebook saying, how fantastic is this show? And someone was like, bro, that came out like eight years ago. I was like, oh. 
Oh. And you're still figuring out technology. Oh yeah, I've got a video recorder somewhere still in the house. And a TV with a built-in video recorder. I have a video recorder in my bedroom. Yep, there we go. Oh, quick. Yes, same to you as well, Charles. No, it's Fred. <laughs> now, what do people think about this estate being built here? I hate it. I wanted a big, open paddling pool, concrete one, you know, like what they've got in St Anne's? Yeah. I wanted that with greenery and flowers and a little park somewhere yeah. for the locals. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't that have been better yeah. than that? How crowded is it going to be with all those houses there? I don't have to happen. Sorry. Yeah, look, I think my idea was better. What does everyone think? Right, right there, that's two houses. I don't think that's two, I think that's one. No, I think it is. I think it's got to be the carport as well. Yeah. Well, see, we were just talking about postmen in shorts. How you always see you guys in shorts, never trousers. What's the reason, please? Um, not really. No? Not really, it was just a bit freer in shorts. Get freer? Walk, walk quicker, maybe a bit baggy trousers, trousers we get. So. That's a good answer, I guess. Well, yeah, <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Take care. I have seen postmen in trousers before. I haven't. I've We're going to hunt for one now, aren't we? For one that's wearing trousers. I've seen a few. I don't think I've ever seen them. But like he said, I guess it's, you know, you're walking quickly, you'll get yeah. tired, heavy bag. Makes sense, I guess. Yeah. Lindale Cafe there. That's always pretty busy, that cafe. Yeah. It might be like why you wear shorts for PE at school. It makes you faster. I know where we can walk. My cups are in Chris's now. Oh, all right. Let's go have a look at the new cups because we've got a slightly new design which I think looks a lot better. Yeah, I want to see them. So guys, if you want to buy the Myers Family Cup, it's £10, the same as Chris's and uh, Crap Girls. All the merch is 10 quid. T-shirts are going to be in soon, a few days I think. Ooh, I'll have to get one. I'm going to get a T-shirt. But I am working on a cartoon design, a photo of all five of us turned into a cartoon design. And I'm going to put that on a cup as well. Um, you can't do normal photos. It has to be cartoon type because of the ink and that that's used. It's not this street, is it? I think we need to move yeah, on up. Yeah, it's this street. It's right there. Oh, it is? Oh, yeah. I do not even know where I'm going. Oh, look at that car, look. Paint all over it. Car wash is not far. It's gorgeous, isn't it, today? Yes. Absolutely perfect. Fox Design Wear. Oh, dear. Copyright. One minute. So Kaylee just told me that uh, the big one is now not the tallest roller coaster now. Hyperia, did you say? Yeah, Fort Park. I wonder if the Pleasure Beach are now going to come up with a new idea to gain a new title. But you want to know what's sad? There's only a foot difference between them. A foot? Big one's 235, <laughs> I think, and Hyperia's 236. Oh! Yeah. You know the Pleasure Beach are going to be annoyed and think, how can we raise ours two feet? I think they were going to do it, but then they couldn't do it. Why? Not possible, you'd have to change the entire track around. Oh. That's not good, is it? <laughs> no. But they have enough titles at Pleasure Beach. What titles do they have? Valhalla's the best water ride in the UK. They have the only Nickelodeon land in the UK. 
So if you have a few titles. It's blimmin' terrifying, that Valhalla. I've not done it yet, I want to do it. Look at that bingo shop there. That's cute. So it's part of Haworth's prize bingo. Got loads of good stuff in there. Let's go see so this one's 50p a game in here, isn't it? I think so. Yeah, we've played in here. One of a kind. Largest one-armed bandit in the UK. <laughs> yeah, that's it there. It's good in there. Oh, look, 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 there it is. Hey, my family. Oh, there we are again. Yes. You have to get down, guys, and get your merch. £10 each. I love that. I have to go away quickly because of the music that's playing. I love that. I love it, yes. I want to see who the first person is to buy the cup they can um, send, a proof. send a photo tag us in it on Facebook and the first person to buy it uh, will sort out something we'll sort out um, a little reward for the first person I don't know what though any ideas send them a signed picture <laughs> a signed photo yeah. That's quite cute. Yeah, there you go then. A signed photo. Have you heard us acting like we're celebs? You get signed pictures from your favourite buyer's family member. Or all of us, yeah. Whichever, yeah. Does it still count if one of us buys it? <laughs> You're cheeky, you. you got retro slots here. Look at this slot. I like slots. I might go down to the Philly bar and have a little coke. It's quite hot, isn't it? <laughs> a little coke. That's so cute the way you said that. A little coke. Little coke. <laughs> Thank you. So you got the Ardwick there. The Ardwick has unbelievably cheap pints. I can't remember the exact amount. Two fifty, maybe. There's one eighty there. One eighty? Where? All oh, right, one eighty for John Smith's uh, strong row and something else. Jesus, one pound eighty. I mean, you can't go wrong at that, can you? Don't talk, Granddad. It'll be running down there. We need to get a wheelchair ASAP. If anybody knows of anywhere where they're not too expensive, um, we really want to take Granddad out. He's either in the nursing home or at my house. I can't take him out anywhere because he's too unsteady on his feet. He can't walk more than, you know, across the living room type thing. There's the place next to Barclays. We're gonna have to go see what the price is. We'll have to cut off because of music a minute. Right, lovelies, we've come to the end of the video. And as you can see, I'm still having some issues with stabilization. So if there's anyone out there that fully understands um, cameras and settings, because I am so, so lost, please get in touch with me. Um, so I do apologize about that. If it can't be fixed, then I'll be sending the camera back and getting a different one. So anyone that knows it, please email me, myersfamilyblackpool at gmail.com, or of course you can message on messenger anyway hopefully you're not too seasack 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 hopefully you're not too seasack after that video i certainly felt seasick just watching it <laughs> anyway i'm uh, gonna get off now i've got to get to work <laughs> Hopefully you still managed to enjoy the video and we will get there. Rome wasn't built in a day as they say. So from me and Kay, it's a goodbye. Bye. 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 <laughs>